Hey, what's up, guys? Diamond Gamer Pro here today, and I'm going to be teaching you how to install GameCube games onto your Wii U and that they are fully playable in full speed HD. Now, all you're going to need for this is a computer, of course, your Wii U's SD card, SD card, <laughs> and a hacked Nintendo Wii U. If you guys do not know how to install custom firmware onto your Wii U, I will leave a link in the description below on how to hack your Wii U and make it fully customizable. Now, let's jump right into this. Alrighty, everyone. So the first step that you're going to do is head to the link in the description below and it's going to bring you to this GBA temp site where you're going to find the application that we're going to be using to get our GameCube game and make it so that it can be installed on our Wii U's. So once you get here, all you need to do is either use the Mega Link or the Google Drive Link, whichever one you prefer, to download this EXE file. I already have and it's right here. You're also going to need, of course, the GameCube game that you want to be converting. So what you're going to do is open this application. And once it is opened, the f you want to make sure that you're clicking GC Retail Injection. This is how you know that you're injecting a GameCube game and nothing else. Once you do, click on Game and of course find your ROM that you're going to be using. I'm Like I said, I'm using Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Now once you do, just click this Download Images and then it will automatically give you images so that it can be used as a virtual console game on the Wii U. Then, all you need to do, optional source files, you don't need to do anything unless you want to customize this further, I normally don't. Game pen meta options, this is what you're going to need to do for whatever you want to change it to. It should mostly stay the same as Pokemon XD, most of the time it will give you the option, but this one you see, I don't really like this one. So I'm actually going to change it to what I want it to be. So what you can do is just head over to here and change it to whatever title you want. Now, I'm pretty sure the Wii U does not support accents on their GameCube or a virtual console game, so I'm just going to leave it as a regular Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Now, you can use a line 2 if you want. I'm not. I'm going to leave it like this. And then your pre turn iterated title ID, leave this alone. This is how your Wii U will think that it's an actual title. In advanced, you won't need to really do anything unless you were trying to install a Wii game, which I will cover in a further video. Then you, you head to the builds title, and you have to enter a couple of title IDs. Unfortunately, I cannot give those to you, but I'm sure a quick Google search will help. And once you get there, just simply click builds title. That process will take anywhere between 5 to 20 minutes at most. Just sit there and let it do its thing. And I will be back when that's done. Alrighty, guys. So, once it is done, you should get this conversion complete little pop-up right here. So, you could just click OK. And then you can close out of the application. You're not going to need it anymore. Then, go into your file explorer. And wherever you chose to save it, you should get a folder titled WUP-N. And then it'll give you a title ID and some weird letters and numbers. You don't need to worry about those. Just make sure your Wii U's SD card is plugged into your computer. And then you're just going to drag this to the install folder on your Wii U's SD card. If you don't have one, you can just make one. You don't need anything in it. Just a blank folder titled install. Now, mine will take about three minutes to copy over, so I'm not going to wait for all of that, but I will cut to once it is done, and I will be on the Wii U side. Alrighty, guys, so once it has copied over, um, you're going to want to go onto your Wii U, of course, and you're going to want to open Whoop Installer GX2 or whatever else you use to install your Wii U games. Now, once you do, you should just find the folder, which was the same name that you copied over, click on it, and click Install. Now, you're going to want to click Yes, then if you have a hard drive plugged in like I do, you're going to click on USB, if not, just install to the NAND, but make sure you have enough space available for the game. I'm going to click on USB, and it's now going to start installing the game. This normally won't take too long of a time, depending on how big your game is, but I'm going to just cut to when it is done, and I will see you on the actual Wii U now. Alrighty everyone, so once the installation has completed, it will give you a little prompt saying successfully installed, and once it does, you can then exit to your home menu. Once you do, you should see your game on either the next page or wherever you have free space on your Wii, Sp your Wii U's home menu. Once you find it, just you can open it, and it will then give you another prompt saying that this software supports the Wii U gamepad. Just click yes, because the Wii U gamepad is what you're going to be using to emulate a GameCube controller. You'll see that it looks like a completely legitimate virtual console game, something you just installation.
as it is running through an entire emulation process and starting up the ROM takes about a minute or 30 seconds or anywhere in between that time. And once it is loaded up, you will be able to play your GameCube game fully properly. I'm going to put it into progressive mode, which is how you normally play on an HG TV or monitor. And there you go, guys. You can now play any GameCube game you want on your Wii U. So I hope you guys do enjoy doing this. And if you do, please do leave a like on this video and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Hope you enjoyed.